So, uh, friends, what you saw was a vertical shot taken by a still camera, which is not possible in the video camera that you're watching. So, we are going to do the same effect on this uh, model, and you, uh, then it will be easier for you to understand how we are exactly achieving the result that you just saw. So, in case you haven't uh, clearly seen it, you can go back and see it once again and come back. So, on this model, right now we've got two lights. So, you would see me as uh, uh, getting the same effect, getting the broad lighting effect on her face. So I just switch off this light. Now, now there's just one three feet, three feet by three feet soft box on an LN from 23 light, which is lighting her up. She is right now facing directly into the camera. Considering that is the still camera, where you can see me right now from, consider that is the place where the still camera would be kept. So whatever you are seeing on the model, would be there on the still camera also while you're shooting from that angle. The model is right now looking at the camera, so we will slightly turn her face two thirds to the direction of the camera. That is, she's two thirds from you. So what what happens is that right now the shadow part of her face has moved away from the camera, and the part which is rightly lit is towards the camera. This is broad lighting. Broad lighting makes a face look healthier. So and it it appears to be broader. It was mostly used on women in the 60s, but uh, then now it's used on men as well because of the drama that, he, uh, that it creates. In case if the light is too powerful for you, you could always use a reflector. This is how you would start with uh, broad lighting in portrait photography.